And don't get caught up on is it right, is it wrong, is it good, is it bad, is it going to work, is it not going to work. Don't worry about any of that crap. Just worry about the fact, well don't worry, <laughs> just recognize the fact that you have just accessed the best, most complete, and uh, probably most accurate answer for you at this time. This is the How to Quit Working Show. Jeff Steinman believes entrepreneurship is the only true path to freedom. That's why he created the How to Quit Working Show, where you'll hear stories, insights, and inspiration from lifestyle fanatics who left their soul-sucking 9-to-5 job forever. Now, here's your host, author, entrepreneur, and ultimate lifestyle fanatic, Jeff Steinman. Hello and welcome to the How to Quit Working Show. Today we're going to talk about how to trust your gut, which is a really important topic because the reality of it is in starting a business, you have to know what is the true and right step for you. And the crazy thing is that you most of the time know what it is. You're just not listening to it or accessing that feeling or that knowledge that is actually telling you the most important very next step for you to take on your journey to starting a business or any kind of big cool thing that you want to do. Now before we talk about that, I want to tell you about the How to Quit Working Circle and that's where you can go if you would like some free training and you would like a community of people to support and encourage you on your journey to entrepreneurship. Excuse me, you can get all of that over at howtoquitworking.com slash circle. It is all free and you can get it all at howtoquitworking.com slash circle. I look forward to seeing you over there and I also look forward to talking to you right now about how to trust your gut. This is a topic that is very interesting because I've been on a very long journey of uh, trying to figure out how to do this for myself. And I remember one of the first interviews that I did on the How to Quit Working show, my gosh, it was like three years ago. And I remember talking to this guy and he was talking about sort of trusting your intuition and learning how to listen to your intuition. And it, for me, was a huge epiphany of, oh my gosh, if I could actually like listen to this information that I know is in my head, and I don't want to call it a voice or a feeling because it's uh, it's a lot of different things for a lot of different people. But what I realized was if I could actually figure out how to draw on and listen to this information, I really think that I could be unstoppable. And I've gotten really good at doing that over the past, really, I think 12 months has kind of been the, the, the point at which that I've really gotten to a point where I have not only learned how to do this, but learned how to integrate it into my life. And the results that I've seen from it are phenomenal. And it's, it's more than just figuring out what's going to make you the most money or what's going to be the, the thing that's going to be the most successful. It's not really even about that. It's actually bigger and more important and more powerful than that. So I want to try to unlock that for you a little bit and give you some specific things that you can do to, to figure out where to go next and what to do and to access all of that knowledge that you have. And, and I want to start by prefacing this whole thing by saying that it, uh, I've studied the human brain and human psychology a, a lot. It's a, it's a topic that I'm pretty knowledgeable about. And uh, the, the biggest thing that I have discovered in that process is that we humans have got a whole lot more information, knowledge, and really intelligence than is top of mind, right? So if, if, if you were to just look at your, the next step in your business or the next step in your life and you were just to intellectually look at it and say, okay, well, these are the pros and these are the cons and this is maybe what I think I need to do. When you do that, if you think of the amount of intelligence that you have access to as being like as deep as the ocean, when you're thinking top of mind and you're thinking thoughts and you're thinking tactical pros and cons and how to do this and how to do that, you're, you're really only like a couple of feet into the level of intelligence that you actually have. And you know, if, if you follow the How to Quit Working show for any uh, period of time, you know that I'm not a real big, I'm not real big on the woo-woo uh, magic kind of stuff because I think that, um, I think most people really don't believe that 
that it's that there's all these magical powers and universe rearranges itself and all that kind of stuff. I think that really what it is is it's about understanding on an intellectual level how our brains work and how to best access the most amount of information. And what I want to talk to you about today is if your level of intelligence is as deep as the ocean, how to get much, much deeper than just those first couple of feet that you access with your conscious brain. So again, to summarize that, you've got a ton of knowledge and a ton of information and a ton of amazing decision-making abilities. And if you're thinking consciously about it, you're only accessing that top layer, that very top layer. We wanna get deeper into it. So the, the first thing that I wanna say around this is, and this is step number one, I always like to give you actionable steps. Step number one is you have to be very uh, acutely in tune with what you want out of life. You have to really understand, okay, what do I want my life to look like? What do I want to be doing? How do I want my days to look? What is important to me? How, who are the people that I want to help? How do I want to help people? You've got to be really in tune with that. You don't have to have all of the answers. You don't have to know what you, you know, want to be doing in 20 years. You don't have to know specifically even what kind of business you want to start or, or where you want to live. You don't have to know any of that stuff in a great level of detail, but you do have to have that overall idea of, I want freedom, I want location independence, I want uh, uh, money, who doesn't? There's nothing wrong with wanting money. Uh, we, we all want it, it's great stuff. A lot of great things that you can do with it. But you've gotta have that overall idea of what do I want my life to look like? And we talk about that and, and when I do these videos, I frequently start with, okay, what, what do you want that, that thing to look like? And don't worry if you don't know all the details, that's okay because uh, you'll figure those out as you go along and you don't need to know all the details. In fact, in many ways, it's better if you don't know all the details. But number one, get that general picture of what you want your life to look like and keep that top of mind all of the time because that is actually what guides this whole thing. That is what guides this whole process and that is what allows you to access that because you have all of this knowledge, but you really only need the portion that applies to your current given situation. And that's what we're gonna talk about accessing now. So step number two is you have to begin to meditate on a regular basis. And I, I, I wrote a blog post about this a while back and it was the first time I really summarized kind of how I feel about meditation and how it actually works and how it actually benefits people. But my, my, my philosophy about meditation is that it is very much like training wheels on a bicycle. So if you, have a, if you have a kid that's riding a bike with training wheels on it, the, the, the plan is not that you will always, that the kid will always ride around with training wheels. The idea is that the training wheels will teach them how to ride upright on the bike and eventually you can take the training wheels off and uh, they'll be able to ride the bike by themselves. Meditation to a great degree is very much like that. Meditation is a tool that really allows you to learn how to get calm and learn how to access that higher level of intelligence. So you, you absolutely have to be meditating on a regular basis. And don't get all into you know transcendental this or this or that. The important thing is that you've got some sort of a regular practice where you're getting quiet, you're getting really quiet, you're getting really calm, and you're focusing on the very moment and what you're feeling at this very moment and uh, what's going on in your head at this moment. I'm actually sort of almost slipping into a meditative state as I, as I talk about this. But uh, I don't wanna get into a bunch of specifics about meditation, but what I do, want to say is that it's critical that you reach a point where you're able to, at any given point, stop, relax, and just feel the world around you. you don't get all caught up in trying to stop thinking. Just relax, let your shoulders slump down, and just begin to feel. 
begin to feel what, how your hands feel resting on your legs, how your feet feel as they rest on the floor. Right now I'm feeling my lower back as it's sort of pressed into this chair. I'm feeling the air. It's a little cool in here. I feel a little bit of coolness on my arms. very in tune to, it's pretty quiet in this room right now, but there is some traffic noise and some background noise that I wouldn't have noticed had I not sort of relaxed and fallen into the state of extreme awareness. And that's really what meditation is all about, is it's about awareness of where you are and what you're feeling at the moment what's going around, what's going on in your surroundings. You won't be able to get to a point of being fully immense, immersed and, and feeling that awareness right away. That's why you have to do it regularly. You have to, on a regular basis, be able to shut everything down, get really calm, and just be able to feel your body, feel everything that's going on. So set aside a time to do a regular practice. It can be 10 minutes a day, 15 minutes a day, twice a day, every other day, whatever you gotta do. It's, it's up to you to build these things into your life and to figure out how much attention they really deserve in, in your life. And this is one that I believe serves most people to give it a regular practice. So number two, as I said, is to start a meditative practice and do it on a regular basis. What's gonna happen when you do that is, as I said, you're going to get to a point where you're naturally more able to do that. You're going to get to a point where you're able to do that at any point. It's a, it's a, it's a wonderful thing that allows you to access peace at any given time. And I'll give you an example of uh, a time when I really love having this ability. Um, it's when I'm waiting for something that I don't want to be waiting for. I don't like waiting. That's one of the worst things <laughs> for me is to have to wait for something. Waiting in line at a restaurant or waiting in the return counter at the home improvement store or waiting for whatever. I don't like it. But what I've done is I've reached a point where I can access that feeling of peacefulness and I can access it whenever I want. And when I'm waiting is a great time to access it because then I don't have to be upset and pissed off about waiting. I can just be calm and peaceful and do my waiting as I do it. So that's one of the reasons that it's such a valuable tool to be able to access that peace and that calmness. But as we're talking about learning how to trust your gut and your instincts and the things that your body is trying to tell you, it's also important to be able to use that in this process. And that's the third piece of this, which is when you have that decision to make, when you're trying to figure out, okay, what do I do next? What's the very next thing that I need to do? Uh, what is the next step on my journey? I have this opportunity that came along. Should I do this? Should I not do it? When you're faced with those decisions, you just have to sit somewhere or stand, it really doesn't matter. It's just whatever works for you. Try different things. Get really calm. Think about that decision. Let's just say, uh, should, I, should I move forward with this opportunity? Get that question on your mind. Be thinking about that question. Just think about the words in the question. Don't, don't analyze it. Don't get into a bunch of detail about pros and cons. That's for amateurs, this is advanced stuff. So just think about that question. Should I move forward with this opportunity? Yes or no? Think about the question. Take a deep breath. Inhale. And then exhale. 
and through the process of inhaling and exhaling, if you are quiet and you're calm, you'll recognize you probably got a yes or a no. And you don't know why you heard that yes or that no, but what you do know is that at this time, when you got really calm, really quiet, quit thinking so much, that answer that you got is the best thing that all of the intelligence that you can access in your brain was able to come up with. That is the best answer for you right now. It doesn't mean it will stay the same forever. It doesn't mean that it's going to work out exactly as you expect it to, but it is the best answer that you can possibly come up with. And if, if you find yourself getting that answer and then wanting to go talk to other people about it, then a couple of things might be happening. Number one, you're maybe not trusting that answer because the reality of it is when you get good at this, and it's not going to work perfectly the first time, but when you get good at this, you get that answer that is so strong and so true for you that you don't need other people's input. Now, certainly, if you have a spouse that's involved, you certainly have to get them involved, or if other people are, are required for it, you have to get them involved. But what you do know is that that answer that you just got is true for you, and it's the best thing that you can possibly access right now. And don't get caught up on is it right, is it wrong, is it good, is it bad, is it going to work, is it not going to work. Don't worry about any of that crap. Just worry about the fact, well don't worry, <laughs> just recognize the fact that you have just accessed the best, most complete, and uh, probably most accurate answer for you at this time. And then act on it. You've got to act on whatever that answer is that you got. Whatever that thing is, if, if that thing said, don't do, if, 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 that, if you were asking yourself about whether you should move forward with this opportunity or whether you should move to a different city or whether you should stay in a relationship or leave, whatever that answer that you got is, you probably should act on it. Because acting on that answer is what is going to move you towards your highest self. You can't get to being your highest and best self and doing your best work and accomplishing the most that you can possibly accomplish in your life using this intellectual, high-level, couple of feet of the ocean approach and just using that tiny little bit of information. You've got to access, you've got to dig in, and you've got to access everything that you possibly can. You may not be able to access every single thing right now. I don't think anybody ever gets to a point where they can access every single bit of information uh, that they have, but I do believe it is possible. So uh, th the most important thing is to act on it. You just have to act on that information that you got. Again, I, I, I don't want you to try this once and say, well, that didn't work. This guy doesn't know what he's talking about because this is really important stuff and this is stuff that will absolutely change your life if you do it. And it probably won't work super great the first time, uh, but you've got to have that regular meditative practice so that you can get into that calm state and into that state that allows you to access all of this information. And then you've got to practice doing it. And as you practice doing it, one of the things that I recommend is that you not ask it complicated questions, right? So try in the beginning to stick with yes, no questions. So questions that all you have to access is a yes or a no, because that's the simplest thing for you to process and be able to do. And uh, as you get better at it, you will be able to get more complicated answers, right? Like um, sometimes you might get uh, an answer that's like maybe, or uh, you should try this, or not now. That's an answer that I get from myself occasionally. It will say, I'll say, well, is this an opportunity that, that I should pursue? And the answer that I get is not now. And it's really wonderful when you start to get more detailed information from this process, but you may not be able to get there at first. So start with yes, no questions. 
that uh, that you ask to yourself, your intuition, your consciousness, whatever you want to call it. Uh, it's not magic stuff. It's not woo woo stuff. It's it's about understanding how the human brain works. And I wish I could. I wish I had time to talk more about it here. But it's about understanding how the human brain works and how to use it at its maximum efficiency. So. I hope that was helpful. I would love it if you would tell me how this works for you. If this is something that you've done with success in the past, is this something that you've tried and have been frustrated with? Uh, is this something that you just tried now and it worked great or didn't work? Let me know, I wanna hear from you. Jeff at howtoquitworking.com. Again, Jeff at howtoquitworking.com. Send me an email and tell me how it is working for you. Now, if you would like to move forward with your business and making yourself the best person that you can possibly be, there is tons of stuff like this in the How to Quit Working Kickstart program. It is under $100. I keep the price inexpensive so that price is not an obstacle for folks because this is really about creating amazing human beings. That's the way I look at what we do here at How to Quit Working. We create amazing human beings and I want to create as many of them as possible, and that's why I keep the price low. Go over to howtoquitworking.com slash kickstart, get more information and join the Kickstart program. I look forward to seeing you in Kickstart, and I look forward to seeing you next time on the How to Quit Working Show. Thanks for joining us on the How to Quit Working Show. Tune in next time when we'll talk to another amazing person just like you who is now living the ultimate life of freedom and doing it on their terms. If you want to learn how to quit working and get these episodes delivered directly to you, visit howtoquitworkingshow.com.